Issue 2 of Darth Maul, Son of Dathomir, features a battle between Count Dooku and the Knight Brothers of Dathomir, and picks up right where Issue 1 left off. Here's a quick recap of Issue 1. Darth Sidious captured and interrogated his former apprentice Maul, and learned that the witch Mother Talzin was behind his resurrection. Aware of Talzin's growing power as a formidable adversary, Sidious devised a plan to use Maul to lure her out into the open where he can destroy her. Freed by his allies, Maul rejoined his Mandalorian army on Xanbar, but soon fell under attack by General Grievous, who routed Maul's forces after an intense grand ground battle. Now on the run, Maul attempts to regroup before Sidious and Grievous and Count Dooku can close ranks around him. This issue starts out with Maul using the Force and Dathomirian magic to contact Mother Talzin. Mother Talzin shares her wisdom with Maul by telling him her theory that it was in Darth Sidious' plan to allow Maul to escape. Mother Talzin then explains that she will not come herself to help in the upcoming battle, but that she will send aid from Dathomir. Maul then meets with his Shadow Collective to tell them that they are going to war with the Sith and the Separatist army. Meanwhile, Count Dooku warns Grievous not to underestimate the power of Mother Talzin. Maul is unveiling his strategy for the coming battle with his army when a ship from Dathomir arrives. From the ship emerges a group of Knight Brothers from Dathomir sent from Mother Talzin, Maul's own kin. General Grievous arrives above Maul's base and immediately opens fire. Maul, having run out of time, urges his troops to get into position. Count Dooku, with Magna Guards at his side, takes to the ground to lead the assault, exclaiming that Maul and Talzin are the only targets that matter. Grievous, in his ship in the sky, realizes that the Mandalorian warships at Maul's command are nowhere to be seen, just as the warships reveal themselves in an ambush. Meanwhile, on the ground, the Knight Brothers find Dooku and confront him after taking out his Magna Guard. Maul, aboard one of the Mandalorian warships, commands the pilot to attach to Grievous' command ship and then boards the ship, while the Knight Brothers attack Dooku in a fight that leans in Count Dooku's favor. Maul barges into Grievous' command center, using the force to throw all of his droids against the wall, rendering them useless, then proceeds to tackle Grievous and holding the Darksaber to his throat, ordering that the droids be shut down. As Maul's forces on the ground are on their knees with thoughts of defeat in their minds, the droids surrounding them shut down, signaling that the Shadow Collective's fight is not over. As Count Dooku is just about to finish off the last remaining Knight Brother able to fight, Mandalorian soldiers surround Dooku and capture him. Maul then contacts Mother Talzin again to let her know that both General Grievous and Count Dooku have been captured. Mother Talzin, pleased with the results, ensures Maul that Sidious will be next, and they will be able to have their revenge. That's it for issue 2 of this awesome comic book series. Issue 3 features Count Dooku captured. Remember to like this video and subscribe.